Okay, I'm calling this Windows 10, The Four Big Lies. And you're seeing four big lies right there on screen. If you are not accustomed to analyzing numbers, you can't tell that what you see on screen are lies. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through this, not merely for the purpose of exposing the whole gimmick of Windows 10, but so that when you look at numbers anywhere else, because Christians make lies like this all the time, when you look at numbers anywhere else, you will know how to spot a lie almost immediately. Okay? So now we're going to go through this, and I'm going to give you some data but I'm going to let you like do your own homework and everything else because the most important thing you can do with this video is to learn how to think for yourself about numbers now you know a lot of people and to some extent I'm included in them when you start to see numbers your eyes just glaze over and that's what Microsoft is counting on here these four numbers, oh, 75 million, oh, 90,000, oh, and this just obviously is false on its face. 122 years of Xbox. Really? Xbox is 122 years old? So see, there's your first alert. Whenever somebody's lying, they always make some categorically stupid mistake. So that even if you yourself are not quite paying attention, this should alert you, ooh, something's wrong here with these numbers. Now bear in mind, that this is a presentation at the IFA conference. You're looking at PC World's, you know, lead picture. Okay, Microsoft trumpets Windows 10's momentum. And the font there is not going to be the same in your browser. I have my font overridden right here. See, I unchecked this box so that only Comic Sans is showing because that's the most readable font for a browser. So the font is going to be different, but as you can see, this is PC World. Link will be in the video description. Microsoft trumpets win 10's momentum at the IFA conference in Berlin. This is going on right now. And this is a picture of a guy talking at that conference, and this is the backdrop for his speech. Okay, well, if he's talking at such an important conference to say how great Windows 10 is, who made the gaffe here? 122 plus years Xbox? Streamed to PCs? 122 plus years. Did no one tell this guy before he got up to talk? Did no one tell the people when they were preparing these backdrop slides? Hi, this is obviously false. See, a liar is always going to be incompetent. This is how I caught the King James only is lying. This is how you catch Windows lying. They always make a stupid mistake. Now, this is not so easy to understand, 75 million, which is going to be most of what I'll cover in this audio or video. This is not so easy to understand or even relevant. That's a different kind of lie, 90,000. But 122 years, Xbox? Stream to PC? 122 years? Really? Ding, 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 ding. Liars are incompetent. That's the thing you look for. Okay, and then this last one, which is blown out of the water in five minutes, I'll spend some time on it. 192 countries running Windows 10. Whoop to do. Okay, now you're going to keep on seeing the screen because I don't really need to show more. I'm going to show some other things because I got tabs here on other Microsoft sources that you're going to need to look at to understand these numbers. But pretty much you're going to be seeing this. Okay, so now let's simply take item by item and pick apart this lie. Now bear in mind, I'm not trying to pick on Microsoft. 
I have to in order to do due diligence to you, my subscribers, so you don't get sucked into this thing. Okay, just like I have to expose when Christians are, you know, behaving badly, so too Microsoft is behaving badly. And why? Because when you're selling something that's bad, you have to behave badly because there's no other way to sell it. So by sh showing this, you can see the same pattern in the Christian, the Jew, the Islam, your neighbor next door, and yourself. If you practice what they're practicing, then what the reason you're doing it and the reason someone else is doing it is because they're selling a lie. And they have to resort to subterfuge to do it. And that subterfuge will always be exposed with some kind of cataclysmic mistake. That in here in this case, hi, oh, you're getting up in front of thousands of people and you didn't check your little screen there in the background. 122 plus years Xbox stream to PC. Ineptitude follows lying. So therefore, the lie being sold itself is going to be incompetent and will have an effect of incompetence in your life if you buy it. Got that? Sorry for the long introduction. If you ever listen to me, you know it takes me forever to get to the point. So now let's get to the first point. 75, see, 75, 75. 75 million devices running Windows 10. Now, really important. 75 million devices, not people, running, not activated. Okay? In other words, they aren't necessarily licenses. They might be somebody installing it. But running does not mean licensed and accepted. It just means running. Windows 10. And it doesn't necessarily mean running. What does it mean? Well, first of all, let's go where this 75 million really got started. That is right here. A guy named Yusuf Mehdi. The source is a blog. A blog in Microsoft. Microsoft's own people have their own blogs. He's the corporate vice president of marketing. The 75 million is a tweet. Windows 10 facts by Twitter. Okay, what's his exact quote? More than 75 million devices running Windows 10. And growing every day. Issued on August 26th. Now that doesn't tell you how long the people that are supposedly having those devices. God, I didn't mean to do that. That doesn't tell you how long those 75 million devices were going. Okay? It doesn't tell you how long. Well, when did Windows 10 start to come out? Last October. And we know that because here we got another tweet by this guy, Mehdi. Okay, on the, 20, on the 30th, the day after the initial release. Okay, it's been an incredible 24 hours. Yeah, but look at this. And you'll be able to read this yourself. Okay? Down here with all these, you know, cutesy pictures. Okay? Then he says, As we've shared, our top priority has been ensuring that everyone has a great upgrade experience. Okay? In other words, all of this stuff that precedes is to insiders. I happen to be one. Windows Insiders. The Windows Insiders program began last October. Not July 29th. Last October. 
So it is not particularly surprising, considering there are about a million you know, Microsoft employees and contract labor and pundits getting, you know, tr trial installations of Windows 10. It's not particularly surprising that since last October until July 30, that there are 14 million devices. Why? Because according to Microsoft, there are 4.5 million insiders, humans. And if each human had two devices, then that's 9 million devices in the insiders <coughs> since last October. If you add in contract labor and other labor for MSFT employees, then that's another million. So that's another, say, 2 million devices. So 9 million. 4.5 times 2 plus 2 million for the million or so extra employees, contract labor, and pundits getting freebies. Because remember, this is all free software. Okay, so 9 and 2 are what? 11. 11 million devices since October last. So then by July 30 which is this email, July 30, see, July 30, right here. That means only 3 million devices, not 14 million, 3 million. In one day, yeah, there could have been, all over the world, 3 million downloads of Windows 10. That's reasonable. But it's not 14 million in 24 hours. But honey, if you if you Google on this 14 million Windows 10, and you look at what all the pundits were saying, oh, it's 14 million in 24 hours. No. So now let's go back here to 75 million. Same guy. Same pictures. Okay. And see, he's the one that's the source of the 192 also, but we'll get there. 75 million, see? That's my tweet. It's a tweet. Okay? Tweet. It's just a tweet. There's no hard evidence to back it up. It's just him saying so. And he's the corporate vice president for marketing. So what else is he going to say? But you'll notice that he's not claiming that it's over five weeks. Okay? That's a total. Now, that $75 million is going to include the OEM manufacturers, okay, who pre-contracted to buy Windows 10 since last October. Since last October. Because for a manufacturer to build a computer, he's got to design the computer, which means he has to know something about the OS that he's going to put on that computer to build his computer around the OS and to build the OS around the computer. So they got they need like nine months, ten months lead time. So they have to commit to a certain number of copies of Windows 10 they're gonna buy, so they can pay Microsoft and start their own development of their own computer by the time it's going to be released on July 29th this year. In order to have something to sell. So that's 75 million. Oh, I wish I hadn't clicked on it. That 75 million includes the OEMs. And it is not since July 29th because they couldn't build a computer fast enough. So now we just saw from over here 14 million. Well, it's really 11 million since last October. So maybe 3 million more downloaded to people who already have computers and aren't buying new ones. Okay, so that's 14 million from 75 million. That leaves about 61 million. 
okay, that the OEMs purchased going back like nine months ago when Windows 10 was announced that it was going to come out. Because they have to pre-purchase. And then they have to pre-design their machines so that by the time the official version of Windows opens, they have something to sell. So now that $75 million has a very different picture to it, huh? And they're devices, not people. And if the OEMs are pre-buying Windows 10, okay, in order to be able to sell devices, then that $75 million is not $75 million sales. Even if it's free, you call it a sale if it's actually, as it were, acquired by an end user. But that $75 million is not acquired by an end user. So you see, if they just say 75 million devices running Windows 10, they're trying to, you know, blank out the meaning of the number. The meaning of the number is, hi, this is really since last October, and about 14 million, which is maybe like 3 million of new sales, versus um, 11 million since last October, plus about 61 million of OEM equipment manufacturers pre-buying Windows 10 so they can make their machines since last October. Not during the last five weeks. Since last October. So you see, that's how you tell a lie is when they pick the biggest number they can, knowing full well you're going to think, oh, 75 million devices means 75 million people. Oh, that's a lot in five weeks. Except that's not what the number means. They're counting on your eyes glazing over. They're counting on you misreading and misunderstanding. And that's exactly what the pundits all do. Whether it's Ed Bott or Greg Kaiser or whoever you want to look at, they all say, oh, 75 million devices in five weeks. No. Medi didn't make that claim. Look, see? And the context is back here. On July 30, 14 million cents. See? First to our Windows insiders. He's including the insiders. He's not claiming that it's 14 million devices in 24 hours. Oh, but that's what Ed Bott and all the other pundits were saying. 14 million in one day. Oh, see? Windows 10 is the greatest, you know, issue in history. No. And they're using Medi's post to make their claims. And so, when he makes his next statement, 75, it's in context of this. It still includes the insiders, okay? The insiders might have upgraded some of their devices too. So it doesn't mean an increase in number of users. Okay? It doesn't. It might, but it doesn't. And then, the 75 million includes the original equipment manufacturers who nine months prior had to figure out how many they would buy so they would be able to get their manufacturing process going, hire the employees, buy the metal, buy the plastic, buy the processors to make whatever machines they were going to make to run Windows 10. So that's a very different picture, 75 million. Huh? It's not 75 million. It's maybe 3 million of humans who downloaded. Maybe. Maybe more like 1.5 million if they had more than one Windows, one, more than one device to which they installed Windows 10. Okay? And then you got the insiders who are 4.5 million people. If they have two devices, that's 9 million devices. 
Okay, so 9 and 3 is 12, plus about a million Microsoft employees and contract labor and pundits given the OS for free, who you have to turn it on and install it in order to be running it. See, it just says running. It doesn't say sold. It doesn't say liked. It doesn't say kept. Running, yeah. The minute you install it, you're running it. But for how long? Did you have trouble getting it to run after you got it installed? Did you actually get it installed? Once you got it installed, did it activate? Because that's been a big problem with Windows 10, is they can't get it to activate. So running, running for how long? Running since when? What about all the people who started running it? They ran it one day and said, ooh, I hate this, and they went back to Windows 7 or 8. See, they're not telling you those stats. Now, what they're doing, and this is the anatomy of a lie, they pick the biggest number they can, citing a tweet for crying out loud by the marketing vice president with no details, running. That's all they're doing is quoting their own guy. That's not an independent source. You can't call this a fact. They're quoting their own people. Where's the independent data checking? See, a liar will quote some other liar. And the lie, what makes the thing a lie isn't that it's a 100% lie. It's that they're real cagey with their terms. Running Windows 10. Yeah, I was running Windows 10 also. Technically, I'm still an insider. But you know what? I haven't used that computer in weeks. But if I used it once, well, oh, I'm part of the 75 million. Yes, I am. That tells you nothing, though, about whether I like it, whether I use it, whether it works. And as I showed you before, 75 million devices running doesn't mean 75 million devices sold. In other words, the OEM equipment manufacturers are making up at least 60 million of that and they haven't sold yet. But they make it sound, oh, 75 million devices running, as if they were sold. This is how liars work. They take a little, this, Satan's real good at this. You take a little tiny, you take some kind of truth and you spin it to make you look good. It's called takia in Arabic, okay? That's what you're looking at here. 75 million devices running Windows 10. Well, running, but um, they, you know, out of the 75 million, 40 million are, are, are just sitting on the shelf, not sold. Or 60 million are sitting on the shelf, not sold. And of the 14 million actually sold or deployed or people using it, um, about 7 million couldn't get it to work right. So they went back to Windows 7 and 8. See, that's what you don't know. They pick the biggest number they can to make it look good. Now, what does that tell you? If somebody resorts to this kind of tactic, using a tweet from their own guy, not independent corroborated evidence. That tells you that this number is being used to cover up, cover up, cover up facts that are not so nice. Now see, this is a free software program. They shouldn't have to market it like this. This is very silly that they're even trying to market it like this. It's free. Okay? Now, it wasn't free to the original equipment manufacturers, but they haven't sold that many devices. Nor is that claim technically being made, because they're just saying running. Yeah, when you first install it, you have to phone home the Microsoft to register. Yes, it's working. So yeah, it's running. That doesn't mean sold. It doesn't mean activated. So for them to resort to this kind of subterfuge means that the truth is pretty bad.
okay? It's a free product. If they're spending all this time announcing, oh, Windows is great, we've got 75 million devices running on it, that means that it's not great, and that means that, that it's got a problem in the marketplace, even though it's free. And they're trying to cover that up with the 75 million devices running based on a tweet by their own marketing corporate vice president with no backup. No proof. Where do those numbers come from? What do you mean by devices? What do you mean by running? Okay? And then the pundits say, oh, that's 75 million in five weeks. No, because insiders had Windows 10 already. My Windows 10 was activated on July 15th, two weeks before. Windows 10 was rolled out in phases. I had the final Windows 10 two weeks before because I was an insider. So that is part of the 14 million devices. Okay, and here's 75 million, of which the 14 million is a part, going back to last October, including the OEM manufacturers. So this is one great big lie. Why do they have to lie about it? Why don't they tell me how many actual sales there are? Well, because the sales numbers are bad. Now, when you're really insecure, you do this kind of lying. You'll catch yourself doing it. You'll see other people doing it. You, you take some fact that you can sort of spin and twist and, and make yourself look good. We all have done this. I'm not trying to single out Microsoft as the only liar on the planet. We all do this. This is how you know. Now, they must be really, really desperate and really, really nervous about the truth because if this were so good as they make it sound, they wouldn't need these other extraneous and useless three numbers. Let me show you what I mean. 90,000 unique device models upgraded to Windows 10. You know what a unique device model is? I have 30 computers. 19 of them are capable of running Windows 10. Each one of them is a unique device model. Now the implication is, and I, I'm not saying this is true, but then are they telling me that there are only 90,000 devices, really, that upgraded? No, that, that would be lie in the opposite direction. But you see the point? 90,000 unique device models upgraded. Upgraded? What do you mean by upgraded? See? And, and why does it matter how many device models? Who cares? That's not important. 90,000 unique device models. That's because they're lying about this number and they're real nervous about it. So they're going to throw another lie of another number or even if it's not a lie, it's not relevant. 90,000 unique device models. That's like my saying, hi, there are 40,000 blondes in the city of Houston. So, or I might say, oh, there are 90,000 uh, Hispanics with the first name of Jose. And that is important because, see the point? They're throwing in irrelevant data, but it's a big number. See, if I get this, if this big number is really not true, and I'm kind of hedging and fudging the meaning of this. So I'm going to throw another big number at you so that you buy what I'm saying. But this other big number is meaningless. That's like saying that there are 90,000 people in Texas named Jose. So that doesn't support this number. It's just another big number. See, here's a big number. And here's another big number. It's not as big as the first one. 
But it's a really big number, so if I make your eyes glaze over with all these big numbers, then you're going to just go, oh, Microsoft 10, yeah, one Windows 10 is good. That's the objective of the lie, to drown you out with numbers, as if they were facts. See, because they're numbers, and everybody's eyes glaze over with numbers. And if you can use numbers, oh, you must be smart. No. Like Mark Twain once said, there are lies, damned lies, and statistics. 90,000 unique device models, so what? Um, but they're really, really nervous about their lies because now they go to the incompetence that I started this video with. 122 plus years Xbox stream to PC. Well, Xbox hasn't been out for 122 years. But they're so nervous about their lies that they got to talk about Xbox in a big, flat, flagrant lie. Whoever wrote this, the guy who was supposed to check whoever wrote this, it's got to be fired by now. If he's not, well, then they're more incompetent than I thought. 122, see another big number. 122 years. Xbox? Now see, the third lie is combining the first law, lie with the second lie. The first lie is a big number that isn't really what it says it is. And since it isn't, then you got to tell another lie with another big number that brings in irrelevant data just because you want to use this big number. So now, combining the two, we got a big number that you want to use with irrelevant data. Years of Xbox. And it's not even true. And you can just look at this and say, what? 122 years of Xbox. Stream to PC. Oh, yeah. See, because this is a lie, and this is a lie that's also irrelevant. Then thirdly, your lie is so stupid, even you don't catch it. Because you want that big number, baby. I want the big number, 122 years. Oh, Microsoft must be really important. Overlooking the fact that Xbox hasn't even been around for 22 years. And hello, Xbox is not relevant to Windows 10. So now we come to our final big stupid thing. This also is irrelevant. But it's a big number, see? It's bigger than 122. 192 countries running Windows 10. And again, that comes from our boy, Mehdi. Where was it? I showed it to you earlier. 192. Let me just search on it. 192. Oh, I thought it was here. It's not... Could have sworn it was. 192 countries. Hundred and ninety two countries. Where's the hundred and ninety two countries? Oh maybe it's here. Let's try looking here. Edit. Find. Oh wait a minute, we gotta go back. Not there. Okay, we go here. And then, come on, 192, honey, 192. There you go. Sorry. I got to learn not to talk too loud. Windows 10 is running in 192 countries, virtually every country on the planet. Okay. This guy doesn't know too much about geography. There are more than 400 countries on this planet. So I guess the other over 200 countries don't count. Okay? So, 192 countries. See what? See how this lie works? Big number. Now we use the word country. 192 countries are running Windows 10. Okay, first of all, that's not every country on the planet, but we'll leave that out. If one person in one country is running 
Windows 10. They count the entire country as running Windows 10. You see how that lie works? In the United States, I wouldn't be surprised if there were three or four or five million running Windows 10. But that's one country. But if there's one person in Sri Lanka, which is also a country, running Windows 10, oh, all of Sri Lanka is now running Windows 10. See, that's the lie. 192 countries, yeah? That could be 192 people. One per country. See, they are, this is really important. When, when, you go to, when, back in the days of the Cold War, when you were training in um, civilian and military intelligence to learn how to, you know, um, what do you call it, read between the lines what the communists were saying, okay, this is kind of what you learn to do. You learn to analyze the numbers. Like the communists use lies like this too, especially with numbers. Oh, we have our five. This was Stalin's favorite. We have our five-year plan, and and we produced 75 million widgets. Didn't tell you if the widgets worked. Didn't tell you how many of the widgets were defective. Didn't tell you how many of the widgets actually got into the hands of the people who needed the widgets. North Korea tells lies like this too. Big numbers. Okay, now, as an intelligence analyst, back in the Cold War and even today, when you see this kind of stuff with the numbers, when you see it be frenetic and big like this and irrelevant like this is irrelevant, this is just incompetently wrong but also irrelevant, and this is so, so obviously a lie, okay, 192 countries, no, one person in a country counts the whole country. So it isn't 192 countries running. Not everybody in every country on the planet is running Windows 10 because there are more than 75 million people. And 75 million devices are not 75 million people. So it can't be 192 whole countries running Windows 10. You see the point? Now, an intelligence analyst of counterintelligence information, such as in the old days, you know, spotting whether or not the Russian communists or the Chinese communists or the Vietnamese communists were lying. This is what they were taught to do. That's how come I know how to do it. But if you just use common sense, now you know how to do it. So what does this tell you? They're very, they know they're lying with the 75 million. They therefore have to invent this other thing that's totally irrelevant in order to add another big number. So they're very nervous about their lie. They're even more nervous because they're so nervous about the lie here that they add in an obviously false thing and they didn't even catch it by the time this guy is standing up in front of the audience. See, there's the people. By the time he's standing in front of them, they should have caught this faux pas, but they didn't which means they're very nervous about their lives. And then capping it all off, 192 countries. Yeah, one person in France, one person in Sri Lanka, um, 0.75 persons in Indonesia. We'll count the whole country. And then we'll wow you by saying 192. And then, of course, the big problem is that 192 is not every country on the planet. And, of course, the other problem is the source. Tweet. Tweet. From who? Their own corporate vice president. Not independent, verifiable data. That's the anatomy of a lie. And now you know that they're lying. And you also know they're real nervous about their lies. So nervous that they didn't even catch this error before going out in front in Berlin to the IFA conference. And I don't know which is more embarrassing. This guy talking and not knowing. Didn't he check his slides before he clicked on them? Because this is where all the slides are here in the lower right-hand corner. 
Didn't he check this? Who, who, who didn't do his job? 122 years of Xbox. Hmm? Who didn't check that? So they're very incompetent at Microsoft now. I mean, to me, it looks like they're just about ready to implode. When you have to lie like this so incompetently and so baldly, something's really wrong. You do not want Windows 10. Okay? And then this guy, Mark Hockman, how come he didn't notice all this? Windows 10 has fared well. See? He doesn't know how to analyze what I just showed you. He doesn't know. He can't tell that what, he doesn't even notice that this is a big lie right here. What does that tell you? That tells you that the incompetent liars at Microsoft are talking to other incompetent liars like the writer of this article and nobody's noticing. Now, you don't want to be like them. You'll have a video description link where you can read Medi's own tweets, which are not evidence, yourself. And that tweet, too, will be there. And then, the analysis of the numbers that I put into the video, I'd already started in this post, so you can analyze whether I am lying or not and tell me if you think I am. Okay, and then you can analyze these numbers yourself. So now you know how to fish and you don't have to accept hearsay. You know how to analyze the data yourself and you don't have to rely on brain out. That's my dearest wish. Peace out.